Welcome back to the Home Studio Simplified channel. Today we're going to be rolling out a series of videos that are going to be entitled 5S. These stand for simple shareable solutions to help save you time and get you better sounding mixes in five minutes or less. And today's topic is on fader groups. Within Cakewalk by BandLab, there is the option to create various groups of faders. By grouping multiple faders together, it's going to allow you to move multiple faders at once by simply moving one fader at a time. I'm going to open up my console view now. In this particular mix that I'm working on, I'd like to be able to automate the volume of the electric guitar tracks. However, I already have a good balance of how I feel like they should sound on the left and right stereo field. Therefore, rather than move each and every individual fader whenever I want to bring that volume up or down, or have four different lanes of automation, I'm going to simply group the faders together. So in order to do this, all I have to do is select the first track, click and drag over to the fourth track, which in this case would highlight all of the electric guitars together. Now I'm simply going to hold the control button and right click on the first fader. From here, I'm going to go to group and I'm going to set it to the color yellow. As you can see, there's now a yellow square at the bottom of each one of these fader ports. Now, by simply moving one of these faders, I can move all of them together. While I do understand that there are different ways to accomplish this task, for instance, creating a separate bus and sending all of the electric guitars to that bus, there are going to be instances when you're mixing or you're producing where creating a separate bus for these instruments is just not going to make sense. Likewise, this is another great alternative to turn up several different elements in your mix at once. For instance, maybe a kick and a bass during the chorus, or maybe you want to accentuate the lead vocals and the harmonies at different times. You can do all of this by grouping the faders and then automating them all at once. Another huge benefit, other than just saving time of using this feature, is the fact that now, because you can control one fader to control all of those tracks, you only need one automation lane so long as you leave them grouped. So this is also going to save you some CPU usage. So let me demonstrate how that would work. I'm going to go ahead and click on the right automation. This will now initiate automation for this track. Now I'm going to automate the track using my mouse as the track plays out. So as you can see on the volume automation take lane, we have created automation for this first track only. However, all of the faders are moving. So this is going to save you yet again a ton of time and also CPU resources. All right, now let's take this one step farther and make this even simpler. Let's institute the usage of a control surface. In this case, I'm gonna be using my Rodecaster Pro as a control surface to use within Cakewalk. First, I need to ensure that in the preferences menu that the Rodecaster Pro is initiated as a MIDI device. And as you can see here, it has MIDI set to in and out as well. Now I'm gonna go up to the Act tab, which is here. I'm going to select the Cakewalk generic control surface. For the import, I'm going to set this to the Rodecaster Pro MIDI. Okay, so now that Cakewalk by BandLab recognizes the Rodecaster Pro as a MIDI control surface, I'm now just going to go over here and right click on this first fader. I'm going to actually select Remote Control. And then from here, I'm going to select the Learn button. Now I'm going to move the second fader here on the Rodecaster Pro. And then click OK. So as you can see, now when I move the second fader here on the Rodecaster Pro, it's now moving all of the faders on the screen. This is going to help to speed up that automation process even faster. Now I can simply enable the automation take lane again and begin playback. All right, guys, I hope that today's quick tip is going to begin to save you a lot more time on your mixes. If you can find another creative way that you would think of to use this, drop that in the comment section down below and let this entire community know some creative ways that you might use it. Until next time, remember that we can dream alone, we can create alone, but together we can achieve so much more.